Right, I've got my tea towel on my knee to dry me excess water off my brush. I've drew this other day, so I think we're ready to go. Let's get a sky on this then. Right, so I think my sky, let's wet it up here. And I think I can come down into that. I don't think it matters because I'm going to colour that in anyway. Right, let's get some creamy colour for this sky. Nice bit of creamy colour in there. Uh, I'll go round my tree, go round it. You can go through it if you want. Just going round mine. A bit of creamy colour for that sky there. Uh, a bit in there and all. Go. Right, I think now I'll go into a pink colour. Just dab my brush off tea towel. D -d 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 -d. Right, a nice pink colour. Pinky colour. Red and blue makes pink. Like I always say, whatever colour you've got in your palette, use it. It ain't got to be any particular red and blue, just wherever you've got. Now I want you to think, oh, I can't do this painting, I ain't got that red, or I ain't got that blue. If you've got one of them big palettes with loads and loads of colours in, then use a ready mix pink if you want. That's sort of what I'm doing because I have my paints give me. So. I'm using a ready mix pink just to sort of use it up really. Uh, this is cerulean blue. I like cerulean blue. But you know if you're um, painting out where you want to wash colour back out again, where you want to wet your paper and come back out and get it, do a bit of that cerulean blue, not wash back out. So if you're doing stuff that I usually use designers white gouch on this paper because it's only cartridge paper. So, uh, a nice sip of coffee. I'm not too worried, but if you're planning on washing out, I'll just warn you now, cerulean blue is a nightmare. Right, I like that sky. I'm going to get it dry. What I'm going to do to get this looking extra good, this background deal, I'm going to take a small brush and I'm going to mix this stronger versions in M3 colours. I reckon that'll look good. So, and I'm just using a small brush just so I can get it fat actually. I want to probably, let me get another small brush, get two, one with just water on because I need everything to run. So, let's just get a bit of. Just water in there so it's gonna run. Probably have to re-wet that again in a minute, but we'll try that. So I've got some cerulean blue on there. See how that's that bit stronger? Don't forget, this is gonna dry lighter. I think what I'm gonna do is get my water brush, just water on and fade that in down there. In fact, I can wobble that line there because that's gonna be dark against light. So if I want, I can wobble that, I ain't got to worry. Oh, that's that, that's nice. Some more watering. Sad. Uh, right, I'm going to wash my brush, I think. I'm going to some purple now. There's some purple in here. So that purple in the sky is there. So blend that up into there, about like that. Wash my brush again. Go into some of that cream colour. Into cream colour in here. Wash that into there. Up to that tree, roughly. There we are. Something like that. And then right back to me there. Wash my brush again. So I've just got water on my brush now. Fade it all out. There. Blend these colours in to each other a bit. Oh, that's not looking bad. For now, that will do me. Some water in this side, yee dee 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 dee, that'll do. Bit of cream again, cream up to there, around my tree, around my ass, around the chimney. And dee 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 dee, do a bit of singing while I'm doing it. Jobs are good and right, let's get a 
bit of pipal in there now. A bit of pipal. A bit of amol. A bit of blue in there. Oh, that's nice. There, I'm going to get a bit of pipal and blue mix now. A bit of a mix between two. Bring a bit of that in here. Mix between two. There we are. And then, without cleaning my brush, gone straight back into my cream colour. Mix that in. And just get some of this a bit more of a realistic type of colour now by just blending all these in. There, just blending it all in now. De -de 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 -de. Plenty of water towards bottom. So keep it all flowing and that. I think that's I think that's looking alright to me. Bit of that messy old three colour again. Just a bit more blue in there. there something like that. There, that's not looking bad. Then I'm gonna get my tissue and just mist into the bottom of there like that. Just missed it. There. I like that. All them little dots in there, that's where my paper's disintegrated. But I'll dry it and just brush them off with my hand. This type of painting, it's just like when you're at school and you've got a colouring book and you're just colouring in. See how them little dots look? They just wipe off. Yeah. All gone. Well, nearly all gone. Just wet paper's damaged right at me. I meant to put a little bit in there because I'm going to leave an old in tree. I'll tell you what, I'll do it. Put a bit of this. I'll put a bit of creamy creamy pinky colour in about there like that look something like that that's it something like that that'll do and I'll let that dry right let's get some colours in here now so like I say it's just like colouring in at school so we'll colour some of this stuff in oops this little brush it's just as easy is that that what's that there oh I think I've done there a little one and then a little I think I've got a little light highlighted one about there I think that's what I've tried to do and then they're going to be quite dark I'll leave them for now that one in there little bright one um, right you know what just while I let that dry there I'm going to put that tree in but while I let that dry I'm going to just give that a dab on bottom there's a puddle I think I'll paint my ass in while that's drying. So, nice creamy colour, pretty light. I want this. I'll colour the whole thing in from top to bottom, all the way through, with this light colour. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And then I'll just overlay some more colours in a bit, you see. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Gotta keep motoring through all this stuff there. We're motoring through at a minute. Dee -dee 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 -dee. That can touch into that, give me a nice soft edge. Nice, some more like yellow. Give me some a nice soft edge there, that's nice. Right, in fact, I can get a nice soft edge off here. Oh. Get them two to blend into each other, and that'll look nice. It's just a bit of nice, natural looking green. These greens, I've actually already got them mixed in my palette from painting before, but to get these natural greens, Bit of yellow, bit of blue, bit of Payne's grey or raw umber, something like that. Just some colours to dull it. Tiny touch of red will dull a green. 
stuff like that, a tiny touch of red or a bit of burnt umber or something and it'll all dull the green down and make it look more like a natural green so it looks realistic like that, I'm thinking I'm going to do it across there come across that road, that'll do, not bother me I deep 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 down there down here, just sort of just get some water and get rid of the any edges on that, don't want no edges there there, that's that sorted. Right, I think what I'll do now, just, where's my big brush gone? It's disappeared. There, there it is. I think what I'll do now, is I'll block this path in with some of this cream colour. I'll put this path in. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm kind of going to go all the way, like that. All the way through. And then I'll use that cream colour there as an undercoat for me. Of a bit, something like that, but that can be an undercoat for up there and that. There, nice. Look at that touch in there. Oh, wow. Sad. In fact, any did, did, did he let me do this with a little brush because I want to leave little gaps in and stuff. So let's get this cream colour again and just pop in some little gappy bits in that wall there. That's why I've done that with Ickle Brush, just to get them gappy bits in. I didn't need the. Oh no, that's not one there. One there. That's it. In fact, they can go in in cream. That that can be my light side of my wood. They can go in in cream. There we are. Jobs are good. There. Sand. Is that dry yet? Yeah. Right. I can put that tree in now. Then. So with this tree up here, it's. Uh, light's coming in from that side so it's going to start with that yellow and gradually bleed more into a green as it comes down some of them little white highlights I've left in there I'm hoping they look like it's where this light is in and um, yeah just bright light hitting the tree rather than a hole in the tree and this one here I want it to look like a gap in the tree going through into behind there you see it looks like there's another separate tree here is that a tree there yeah another tree there and I'll go quite dark because I think this other tree is eyelitted against this one I'll leave some little yellow specks in uh, right these tree I'm gonna colour this these two trees in with this colour but I'll be going over these again so these two trees are red dark really really dark so there I'll do for that right that's that done um, I might come down to this foreground now is that dry yet yeah, no but it doesn't matter it's dry enough let's come into there and pop something I'll tell you what I'm just going to take this paper and stretch it a bit it's all creased up just stretch it a little bit Bottom it stretched like there, that's better. There, it's in the middle. There, sand. Pull it up a bit and all. Right, right re reset. Right. I'll pop in there uh, some yellows. I'll bring them in from front sides, like that, I think, from both sides. Like that. Uh, I think I'll have a bit through there. Bring some in there, down this side. Is that little brush gone? Where's it gone? Where's that gone? Lost my little brush. It's there. Oh, yeah. I did have two of these a minute ago. Right, yeah, I'll pop a little bit of yellow just in there as well. Oh, wow. Uh, there. It's, it's all matching. Right, I think now, let's say dry. Put my little brush there. Don't forget it's there. Let me see the coffee. Just looking, I'm just going to pull some of these yellows through there. Right.
that's dry enough. 15 minutes already. Oh dear, right, let's get, let's add some more of that creamy colour and just add a tad of bon tombre into it. That's not a bad colour. Right, let's get this roof on. There. Like that. Nice little roof on there. I'm sorry, I left a couple of gaps in there. Did that on purpose. I always quite like a few little gaps in things. Uh, even that one there, look on that corner. Just like it. If you don't like it, don't do it on your own. It's up to you. Right, like, I just like it. Right, so that's that. Um, front of it, oh, it's not that. There's a roof here and all in it. There we are, down there, across there. Deep, 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 and then leave a couple of little ickle gaps and that in it. There, nice. That's that. Um, oh, I know what I did mean. I meant to left left them windows white on the other. I left them windows white. It looked dead nice and all. Not to worry. Too late now, ain't it? Right, I've got some shadows to go in, but I'll come back to them later. Right, so I'm thinking. I tell you what, let's build up this wall a bit more. So I'll do the same again. I use that same colour, slightly darker to the one. And I'll just come in and just sort of build this wall up a little bit more like that. Look. Don't forget, it's all going to dry lighter. Put some of them bits in on top of there, look. Something like that, like the door. Let's get some really wet stuff and come at the bottom there. That, like that. Right in the bottom, oh that's better. Right in the bottom of there, like that one. And then let's get some yellows from my greens and stuff and just blend the two together so it looks like my grass is a, perhaps going up that wall a bit and bits of mosses and stuff growing up. Should look pretty, pretty cool. Put some more green on that side. And it blend looks pretty cool and it blends in nice there. Something like that. That's it. And then I'll just swap to me big brush now and start filling in some greens and stuff. Let's get a few nice natural looking greens. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice bright looking green, but I think a bit too bright, so I'll whack a bit of bomb tumber in it. There, yeah, that's dulled it. Oh, that's perfect. That now looks like a nice natural green. Coming down to there. Oh, I've got some more yellow in that. Down to there. Oh, let me get some more yellow. That's better. Oh, there's some more yellow up that side. Oh, that looks good. Just splodging up there like that. The edges of the grasses. So that one's more sharper and that one's more blending in. Let's get some more yellow down about there, I'm thinking, and a bit more there, and then back in fact, this one, yeah, that one there, like that, and back into some more of this mucky green over this side. Look, watch me brush, or I'm coming down like that, following my contours. That ground is not totally flat, it's coming down a bit. Same with this one, look, it's coming downhill a bit. So that's what you've got to do. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. Dee, 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 dee. Some bits of grasses in there. Nice. Right. Uh, right. Let's get through here. I'll have some of that darkish colour, these darkish greens up here. Then that will help highlight the highlights on this wall. There. Into there. Into that bit there. Look. Around that bit of a post there. There we are. Uh, there's going to be an highlight down there, so I might as well have some, uh, some of that grass there. That's it. Then let's come into some yellow. A bit nice, brighter of colour. I like a bit more yellow in there, like that one. Like that. Uh, let's say a bit more yellow on this. So I'll have a bit there and a bit there. And then I want to go into this 
more monkey or green. There, yeah, that's nice. And then just blend it all down into that path there. There we are. Oh, I quite like that. I like, I'm happy at that. Right, same again. I'll have some more of this monkey or green on this side. Come into there, just into there, like that. Look, oh, that's nice. Into there, into there. I'm using this big brush. The idea behind your big eye brush is so that I don't fiddle. Only fiddle if you're on a violin. That's what they say. If you're on a violin, get fiddling. If you're not, don't be fiddling. Right. I'll go into some of this darker green here and all, and just get around these fiddly bits. Look. Around there, around there. See, I'm leaving a few gaps of that original colour underneath. Try and do that. Oh, if you don't, you, then what, what point in putting it on? You know what I mean? Leave a few gaps so that I can see it. I'm just going to get some more of that creamy colour, what I'm running out on. Just get a bit of there, a bit of that. A bit of raw umbral to this. I'm just going to come in there and just blend them two together a bit. And that's it. And then a bit of just water, I think. Blend it a bit. There we are, that'll do. Sad. That's sad. Actually, I'm supposed to be waiting for that to dry so I can get in there. And now I've done that. What a fool. Right, let me mix some more. In fact, let's go slightly darker creamy colour this time. So I've got some bon tumble. Pop a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of that purple in it. And it's really watered down, so it's not. Not even going to look like bomb tumber, it's that watered. There, I'm going to dip my brush in water, I want it thinner than that even. Dab back into that. And then I'm going to take that right the way back there. Just as part of my path there. That's it. That'll do, that'll dry much lighter. Uh, right, talking about drying. Let's get it to dry. <laughs> That'll do. I'll bring that clip back down there now. These little white gaps here, if you're going to mount that, they'd be behind there. Or if you're not mounting it, you can always trim that bit off. You've got to have a bit of somewhere to clip, haven't you? You need. Right, let me. Oh. More coffee. Right, um, nah. I'm going to stick the shadows in, in this on this ass in this ass not in the ass we can't see in the ass so it doesn't matter on the house idiot yeah I've gone cerulean blue and a bit of me purple what is red so if you mix some red and blue get purple and then whack some cerulean blue in it and I'm using a really thin paint I'm going to come down here from here nah I'm going to try and leave that bit as light as I can because I'm going to have. So look, I'll dip into what and uh, to get over to that bit. I'm going to have the bottom back of this tree is going to be dark against light. The back of this tree here, I'm going to do darker than that. So you could do it opposite way around if you want, it's up to you. But I think to make it the R stand out, you've got to make a decision and think, right, I'm either doing one or the other. You can't sort of. Well, obviously you can't do both. You've got to decide. Think I'll do one until the yeah. oh, that little tree's just highlighting out there. Looks nice. And right, this one here comes down here. Now this cottage was from a reference photo, and the light was coming in, and there were a shadow coming down there, like that. So I need that shadowing. These shadows are probably be coming across a bit, but we'll just melt them in like that. 
So like this, slightly darker look, this slightly darker. I think that'll be enough. I think so. Oh, uh, uh, I'll go in and add some little bits of brickwork and stuff to that all in a bit. I nearly forgot this last time. This little bit here needs to be in shadow. Now that don't stand out very well against that, but it's slightly darker. Though it might not be when it's dried. Uh, well, it, it is what it is, isn't it? There's not much I can do about that. I'll tell you what, while I've got that popple colour, that poplish bluish colour on me, brush, I'll add a bit more blue to it. Uh, I'm going to come in and just do a few more e extra bits on this wall here. I like these little white flicks what I've got left in this wall, but there's a bit too much on them, so I'm going to cover a few more up, and then it will make the ones that is there stand out a bit more. So, that'd be how good a hide here. I'll put some uh, little like cracks in between these rocks in a bit. There's loads of different ways to do this wall. On this one, I decided to do it like this. So, I put them in thick. If I want a thicker paint, I put them in thick and use my little scraper and scrape the little rocks out. I often do them like that. But it just, I do different things. I try to tend to do different things on different paintings depending on what sort of half at time depending on my reference photo and what that looks like I'll just put that bit of yellow in there just to blend in with any of them bits and just soften them not really any need to do it that side but I did, did it anyway yeah. there that's nice oh, let's just sit back and air look time I think so it's looking all right to me there is oh. right I'll tell you what I do need to do um, I need a really dark green for here so I'm thinking yellow and blue for a green and then you know what I'm add some of that purple in it see what that does and some bond thunder you know what I'm add some Payne's grey in and all so I've got a lot of colours in here now some more of that purple it's a bit bright and that purple will kill it a bit too bright so I use the purple to dull it oh that's good so it's nearly black it nearly looks black from you get a tad more blue and yellow in it's a bit too black but these sort of evergreen trees I don't know if you've noticed but I'll thin it out a bit and all so it's not a dead thick paint and hopefully it'll see green more but I don't know if you've ever noticed but these trees when you look at them they are they're virtually black and the cross bottom there like that across there into there like that a bit over there like, like that and then what i think i'm gonna do wash my brush off damn it on fold tea towel and just spring these bits across where it's a bit lighter on that side and i've still left a few little speckly gaps in there look oh, i like that i like that that's nice i'll leave that at that uh, what's this like now? Is that, yeah, that's it's dry enough, I think. Right, I'm going to whack these posts in. Bit of uh, bonked umber and a tiny bit of Payne's grey in it. Right, so, um, mm, I think really it's just this side. What it needs doing, that's the dark side. Back to the dark side. They're slightly in front, so what I want to do a bit of that and a bit of green and just pull a bit of a shadow across off them. There'll definitely be one there. That one there, I'm going to sink down a bit. In fact, that one there, I'm going to stick some purple in it quick because that one there won't be green for a start. Like that, and then that one there. And then I'm going to soften all them in. I don't want them very standardish. Just a tiny bit, just so you can just about make out. Oh, that's, that's okay. There, there, that'll do. And yeah, this one's a bit strong, really. Let's soften it. Soften, I don't know if I do. Soften it at top. Will it just run everywhere? No, that's all right. Look, look. Oh, it's a nice natural looking shadow in it. Uh, I think I'll let that dry. And then I think I'll darken that front bit a little bit more as well. 
them stand out a bit more. All right, I'll tell you what I could do. Uh, get a tiny little brush. Um, let me get some of this Payne's Grey mixed up. Uh, I'll use my big brush to mix it. Oh, that's lovely. I'm going to put the little cracks in between them rocks. I know I'm going a long way now. I'm in half an hour taking up loads of your time. But it's just one of them pictures. What's, it were always going to take ages, this one. I knew it. I knew it. Right from the start, I knew it. Right, get some little... Some little bits in these rocks, look. A few of these bits in there, look. That's it. It's just how it is in it with one of these pictures. A few little. There's definitely going to be a few bits on that. And top bits there. Well, don't have to go mad. If you pull a few in, whoever's looking at it, their brain will imagine that there's more there than what there is. So you can sort of get away with just pulling a few in. There, you know what? I think that'll do. I think it might have to because we're getting that str struggling for time. Right, let's. I don't want to take up too much of these times. That's a little door, little windows. I hope that's dry, it is good. Else it would have splodged everywhere and ruined everything. There, right across that top there, a bit down there. And so I'm doing these little triangles, their impressions are uh, windows. See, so I ain't got to draw up foot window. That's a sh their shadows underneath them eaves there. Maybe one there, underneath there. There'll probably even be bits. Down these sides, you know. You know what I'm gonna do now? Pop in, get a bit of that Payne's grey to this creamy colour. I'm gonna pop in here now. Come on to the roof, I'll stick a few tiles in on that roof. Same again, look. I haven't actually got to put every single tile in. See them little highlights where I left gaps? They're looking like bits of tiles. Right, if I put a couple of tiles in like that, your brain will imagine that there's more in. So I'll have a few bits in there. They're not tiles, they're bricks. Put the bricks in here, look. There's actually a little bit of a thing across the top of all these windows. There. So that's on these doors. Let's pop that in. And then, yeah, there's some little brickworks in there. So your eye will imagine that there's stack loads on them, even though there's only a couple. There. That's that. Um, the doors were bright green. Let's see if I can do that. Will it drip into that black, because that black's still wet. Ooh, <laughs> I hope not. I don't mind if it drips in a little bit. It might look quite good, but I don't want it to... And then, so, uh, that were a door as well. They're, they're, they're doors. Uh, then. I'll tell you what they were. To wash my brush first, idiot. Still clean brush. Right, these windows. They were like that. They were green as well. Little crisscross shapes in them like that. Something like that. Bring that door down a bit more. Mm -hmm. a bit more. There we are. I wish I'd still got the little white highlight where the sun reached in that top one there, especially, and my photo looked wicked. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to leave white paper in. I could stick a little bit of white gouache in there, but it's a bit hot, I can't be bothered. And we're running out of time. Right, friggin' hell, we are running out of time. Let's mix up a bit more sort of grubby brownie colour. A grubby brownie colour, a bit of bontumber. There could be any old colour mixed in with this, really because I've done it out mud at the bottom of my palette again, but when you're doing yarn, just mix a grubby bontumber colour. So a bit of bontumber, it's like a bit of Payne's grey, and you'll be laughing. Let's take that across there again into, so there's a bit of shadow coming off it. There we are. Ow, that's it. We're in. I'm nearly done. That's all I've got to do. We're not far off now. Not far off. Right, so I'm looking at this now. It's looking not far off. Um, is that dry? 
Yeah. I think. Let me just give it a quick blast with dry. <laughs> Think that foreground's all right. Right, just noticed in here, back up here. Let's just get a bit more in there like that to fill that bit in. That's that. That's, that's nice. There. Do I need to thicken that up? I think thicken that up a bit there, just so that throws that backwards a bit more. So let's get some just some thicker paint. I'm thinking a bit of green, mix a bit of green up. Um, let's have a bit of that brown in it, dull it all down a bit. Not too bright. There, that don't look bad. And just come across there like that. I'm literally doing this just to uh, send that other stuff backwards a bit. So I'll bring that in there like that down there. I'll streak through there and some streaks in there and all that. There, then I'll get that same colour a bit in there so it matches I'll throw that all the bit back and then get my brush just pure water dip it on my tea towel I've dipped it in water then on my tea towel um, just so I don't get water dribbling everywhere into there just soften a few bits out like that there oh I didn't mean to splash over that bit there we don't matter it's latter not matter because I've already done it Right, now I need some dark green to go up against this tree. Just mix in. Oh, I've got Payne's Grey, yellow and blue for me green, Payne's Grey. A bit of Bonton, stick a bit of Bonton in. Can't leave really me Bonton around. Yeah, that don't look bad. It's a nice little colour. Right, I'm gonna basically. Paper's all wet now. Basically. I just want to come up against here. I'll go right up against there, look as well, into there, and just um, just darken some of this so it just uh, dipping into what I now, in fact, into a bit of lighter green and all. Just darken that, mainly just to make that um, I stand out a bit. Same here, I think these. Trees here you need a bit as well. There we go. Sand. Uh, I'm going to add some really dark in there. A couple of just little bits. Wet and wet, I've done that look. A couple of that's nice. I like that. I'll put some even more dark on the back end of that look. There, that's that. Um, just stand back and have a look. It's not looking bad that. Uh, let's just give that a dry and then I'll put a few twigs on them the trees. twigs on these trees right so going into a really dark colour now and just through this gap oh, this. just so I'll come up through that dark bit there look and through there through that gap into there all these dark bits you can put branches and things through them See how I'm just going into the dark bits? If you do that look, just going into these dark bits, it always looks good and it looks like the light bits are cutting in front of the dark dark bits, if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? I hope so. Yeah, so like there's an hole in the tree there, so you can see that bit. That's where the back end of the tree 
and these really light bits what's cutting through here and that they're the front end of the tree so you don't see the branches in there you know what I mean I'll I might just do a, a thing one day just on a tree this style of tree just to show you I tell you what even though this is right in this corner just in a few of these dark bits there look I'll do the same again just put some little twigs in right let's get a BD in it and Peter and Paul's got to go in on there I'll stick them right up there today Peter and Paul there jobs are good and uh, I know I've took ages I'm sorry about that but it, there's a lot of stuff to paint on this one right city on beach in it